elevator companies just simply weren't doing their jobs. So Ashley, how'd you get started in uh, the elevator business? Nepotism? Um, no, I was raised, I was raised in the industry. My stepdad has been in the elevator industry um, my whole life. So it's really all I've ever known. And I joined in my early 20s. And I quickly found that customers were an afterthought. Customers didn't really understand their elevator contracts. Um, and elevator companies just simply weren't doing their jobs. Um, in a hundred over a hundred billion dollar a year industry, our clients are only receiving about 50% of the services that they're paying for. So that's a lot of money that that building owners uh, have flying out the windows. Wow. Okay. So 50% of the of the actual like services that people are are paying for, they're getting. So ha they're on not, average. They're 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 not getting half of the stuff they're paying for the, on average yep that's correct um you know the wow. industry is really niche a lot of people don't understand as as we shouldn't really the difference between a door operator and a door restrictor or if it's covered under your maintenance contract so when you own you know a bunch of buildings what you care about is the elevator going up and down right um, and we assume that our engineers or our property managers have the education or the knowledge to know the differences of these services. Um, and then many times they don't because the industry is so niche. Um, so what that results in is us overpaying for services and not getting the services that we're supposed to. And at the end of the day, this makes our equipment break down faster. Um, so, you know, we're just losing money on elevators really <laughs> wow okay um this is fascinating because i didn't even know this was a problem